Hi, Flosstube friends. How are you? I've missed you. Thanks for stopping by. Today is November 18th and it is a Thursday. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and quilting and stitching and sewing and my grandbabies and food and always food and what I'm grateful for. Thanks a lot for coming by. And guess what? Today, we've been friends for three years. Yep, three years. Let's celebrate. Let's have fresh apple turnovers. Oh my stars. Okay, I have some that doesn't have the frosting on it in the kitchen, but inside I took, uh, I sliced up an apple, peeled it, sliced it, and then I slow cooked it in a black iron skillet. So it got really delicious and flavorful. And I added fresh nutmeg, ground the nutmeg in, fresh cinnamon, I ground it in, uh, cardamom, and it smells like just perfect, like apple pie. And they're really tender and delicious. So yeah, let's have some uh, apple turnovers to celebrate three years. So I thought I would sit here. I put a black turtleneck. That's what I started with. And this quilt behind me, um, this quilt is called a rabbit's paw. And um, I think I talked about it in the first video. I belong to a group where we did a quilt block a month. Um, they sent a uh, place in Sisters, Oregon. And they sent you um, a piece of fabric and the quilt block or the pattern. And then you learned how to make it, use their piece of fabric, and then you sent it back. And then they hung them up in their store and it was beautiful. And then at the end of the month, they would pick uh, 25 in each bundle and then someone would win that prize. Um, and then they would send that to you and a little extra fabric to make the quilt. And one time I actually won and I was so happy. And I was looking through all the blocks and I was like, ah. Why, why can't people pay attention? Why can't they follow directions? What's wrong with people? Because one of the blocks was stitched incorrectly. And of course I was being judgy and I flipped it over. and My name was on the back of that one. <laughs> so I wonder if that's why they chose my block to say, oh, here's the winner. They goofed up their blocks. But um, anyway, the pieces are, I believe all machine pieced. Um, and then I machine pieced that quilt and then hand quilt or machine stitched it all together and then hand quilted it. Um, our youngest son did all the math for the, the triangles around the edge. He was uh, still living here when, uh, when I won those. So anyway, it was a kind of a funky gold green color. And um, I just didn't know what to put with it. Nothing worked. And finally, this really molten uh, lavender purple kind of worked with it. So anyway, it's, um, it's beautiful. I, um, hand quilted a little rabbit down in the bottom. So I would remember that it was called the rabbit's paw and, um, it ends up being one of my favorites. It's kind of an interesting color, but I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, Ooh, those, okay. The big mistake, those apple turnovers smell fabulous. Fabulous. Ooh, let's talk about food for a second. Look what my chickens have been doing. Look at all those eggs. Oh, Miss Maisie loves to have an egg every day. The neighbors are loving them. <laughs> Lord have mercy. There's a lot. We're getting about four or five eggs a day. <laughs> so it'll be feast or famine. In the winter, I'll be on here complaining. We don't have any eggs. They're not laying any eggs. So, oh, uh, okay. Let's get started. Oh, what? I, let me tell you why I named this so grateful. Okay, so my husband was in the military for 25 years, and everywhere we moved, um, I didn't really have a stitching room. I didn't. I never had a craft room. Um, we had big houses, little houses. We lived in a townhouse one time, um, and one time I had a huge laundry room, huge uh, washer, dryer, uh, utility sink. It had the hot water tank in it. There was all this extra room big pantry. And I set up a, a big, huge eight foot table and that was my sewing table. And uh, the teenage boys never wanted to do laundry. So they never bothered me out there. So when we moved and moved and the kids finally went away to college and we have two boys, they um, married great girls. They One's a banker, one is a chef. Uh, so, we, and they're really wonderful people. But um, anyway, they moved out and then we moved, moved a couple of times and then this house and this whole room is my sewing room. And one of the first things I did when I repainted this room above the window, I can see the window across from me. I stenciled the words so grateful because 
okay, while the laundry room was okay, this is way better. I'm covered in prayer flags that are hanging from the ceiling and there's quilts hanging on all the walls and I have lots of supplies and a big table to work on, big area for my ironing board. And so anyway, the first thing I did was uh, stencil the word so grateful and um, I am. I am so grateful to have this. And so when I decided to do a floss tube video, that's why I named it uh, what I did. So anyway, we, uh, we've been married for 39 years. We're going to celebrate 40 in a couple months here. Um, we've got four fabulous grandchildren who are smart and wonderful and uh, make my life swirly and happy. And anyway, so um, if you don't know all about me, don't go back and watch all those videos. I can be a lot for some people. So um, just ask me a question and I'll be glad to answer it. So um, let's get started. Let's get started. I got some good stuff. Okay. First of all, one of the things I did was I sewed a bag out of raw linen. Okay. And oh, I put a little decorative stitch at the top but you can see this is rough linen. So I make a lot of our bread. Okay, so this particular piece of bread is kind of old, um, but I wanted to show it to you. Okay, so the way I cut the bread, we cut the bread right down the center, and then you cut your slices for toast or um, to dip into olive oil and uh, balsamic vinegar or to make a sandwich or what have you. And then when you're done with however many slices you want, you put them back together. It kind of keeps the, the insides moist. And then I store it. I store this bread in the linen bag. So if you make homemade bread, you know that you only have a couple of days because there's no preservatives in this, which is fabulous. Ooh, we love that. But that means the bread molds really fast. And there's only two of us. So we can't really go through it quick enough. So if you store your homemade bread in a linen bag, uh, cotton works, but cotton kind of dries out the bread. So it's kind of tough. Um, linen, it kind of buys you three or four days with no mold on it. So order yourself some uh, raw linen or there's a gal named uh, Melissa Norris, I think is her name. I'll link her below and she sells linen bags. Um, she's here in Washington state. So anyway, it, it works. It works for rolls. It works for homemade bread, all kinds of homemade bread, anything you're not using preservatives in. And this is a fabulous tip. So yeah, it's a great tip and it looks kind of nice on your counter. So that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. Um, and the outside stays crunchy, inside stays soft. It, it's wonderful. So let's talk about some previous finishes. Okay, I have this one. I have no idea what where I got it. I think it was a freebie. And it's, I just made it into a little pillow. And I love that turkey. And that pin is an actual leaf from Quebec. Um, my husband's from Quebec. My mother-in-law gave that to me years and years and years ago. And so I just decided to pin that on the the little pin pillow and I have it out by the front door and a little near the front door with a, with a display. Oh, and the back is just some, just some, a scrap plaid fabric that I had. This one I made, I think, did I make it last year? Yeah. 2020. And it was ever so grateful S O W. And I changed it to S E W and it's got a little alphabet up there and it's got a really silly little Turkey. We're vegetarians, so we don't uh, we don't eat uh, turkey for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so that makes me laugh. But the colors on this are really beautiful. And I know, hold on, it was 32 count linen light mocha. I did it in 2020. I have no idea who the, it just says ever so grateful. It, I didn't write down who the designer was. Sorry. And I put it on some velvet. And then this piece, I never did put the magnet on it. This piece was just from Hobby Lobby. And it was just a, a piece that I cut the board for, put it in here. And I was going to put the magnet on it. And I didn't do that. So anyway, it's a really fun one just to have part of the display. That turkey makes me laugh. Love that turkey. Love that turkey. Okay. Oh, I have a finish. I have a finish. Okay. So let's talk about it. Little Deeds Sampler. 
Okay, so um, I have it completely finished. I have the paper on the back, the little nibs. Remember, we put those on the back so that the, the piece can be a little bit away from the wall so air can circulate and it won't mold and the wall won't mold. Um, okay, and this um, particular piece, I have my little card here, uh, by the Scarlet House, and I stitched it on 32 count Confederate gray linen. Um, and I stitched my, the initials A.W. That's my little granddaughter, Adelaide. So I thought that if people were going to go through the, the pile of cross stitch pieces and Adelaide saw her initials, she might uh, snag this one before they gave it to the, the Goodwill shop. Um, okay, so let's talk about this frame. Um, first of all, before I forget, uh, Kim, the contented stitcher. Hi, Kim. Uh, she did a really, really swirly, beautiful cross-stitch floss tube video on how she buys frames at the thrift stores, Goodwill, what have you. And then she cuts them down to fit her pieces perfectly. So, oh, if you get a chance, I'll link it below. But go give Kim a hi, see what she's got going. She's really, really some great ideas. Super inspiring. Okay, so this one, I use this and I um, I did not buy this from the pictureframe.com that I'd bought before. I tried a new company called Custom... Oh, great. Custom frames. <laughs> okay, I'll link it below. But anyway, all right. Um, okay, so the only thing is, look at how big. This is really substantial. It's a beautiful frame. It's wood. And it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. I don't think I, I mean, I looked at, I mean, I'm the one that gave them the measurements. Um, but I don't know if I remember looking at this part. So it's kind of big. But once it's on the wall, you can't really tell. So um, anyway, this piece was, it took about three weeks once I sent my order in for them to get it to me. They sent all the hardware in another envelope. And that came about a week later. So it was right away. A couple weeks after that, then my my frame came. So I uh, pinned it and laced it. And I did all the framing myself. And this and I know it's not polite to talk about money, but um, we're just kind of talking about the craft and how to do it. Um, this one ended up being uh, $42.90. And I think I had a coupon. I'm sure I did. Um, and so they had a lot of choices and I'll link it below. So if it's something that you uh, want to give a try to. So anyway, I love this piece. It was little deeds of kindness. It was pretty quick. I love the colors. Um, it was a really fun stitch. That border on the outside, I couldn't quite get a rhythm. It took me a few minutes to get going on that one. Um, but let's share. I want to share the pattern so somebody else can use it. Uh, let's use the word kindness. So I'm going to share, I'm going to have, I think, three patterns that I'm going to give away today. So um, you can just write a little comment and add the word kindness and I'll know that you were interested in this pattern and I promise that I will get it in the mail lickety split once I um, choose the uh, choose the winner. I'll use that random comment generator and then we'll uh, pick somebody that uh, used the word kindness. Okay, uh, let's see. What else do I have? Uh, oh, I have a Prairie Schooler Santa that I finished. Okay, this one is Prairie Schooler 2000, uh, 2011. Okay, this guy's a little backpack with snowballs. There's a snowball on the ground. Um, these are kind of old-fashioned uh, snowshoes. Mr. Wright has a pair of snowshoes that are up on the wall in our library. And I thought, oh, this would be kind of cute to, you know, be in there with it. And he collects Santas. So this is his Santa for this year. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to, if I wanted to frame it or... I don't know. I saw some little ornaments that Vana had made with, you know, the cording around it and a little hanger. And uh, I kind of think that's what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll try to do that this week. So I get it done. His birthday is in December too. So I always try to, um, I always try to give him a Santa for his collection. So this year he'll get a Prairie School or Santa and the same, this one, um, I'm going to share the pattern and let's use the word Santa. Okay, and I, 
actually this one, I probably won't wait until next time. I'll, I'll go about a week and then I'll pull the winner and then I'll let you know. You'll just send me your address. Um, you gotta be 18 so I can get your address and, um, don't say giveaway. We, we really want a cross stitcher to win, but I'll, I'll only go about a week and then I'll pop this in the mail real quick so that you have time to stitch it for Christmas. If you're, if you're interested, um, Oh, it probably took two or three days. It was real, real quick. You can just outline some of those blocks of colors and then just do that while you're waiting for your dinner to cook or chat with a girlfriend or what have you. And so it goes real, real quick. So anyway, we'll give that one away too. That'll be the second one that we give away this time. So that's kind of a good one. He's kind of such a cute little face, doesn't he? Okay. Here's a good thing. Example. I did use the called for colors with Prairie School or Santa. I um, mean, I try to use prairie schooler colors and his little cheek there has like eight or nine stitches. It's just, if you could get something close, you don't necessarily need to spend the money on a whole nother skein of thread for eight stitches, but you know, I did of course, because I forgot to look and I just ordered all the, all of the threads. So anyway, that's a good one. That cardinal, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. Um, okay, let's see. What do we, oh, let's talk about floss drops. Okay, Mama loves your GB. She had a great idea. She had that idea to um, make some floss drops out of business cards and then trade. We're like fourth grade girls trading friendship bracelets. So these are girls and guys. And so these are uh, floss drops that people had sent me this week. So this one is from Therese. She's in Canada. She took a beautiful picture of some dogwood. Oh, I love a beautiful dogwood tree, don't you? This one's a pink one. Pacific dogwood. Ooh, that is really pretty. I like that one. Okay, this one is, oh, this one is Barbara, the raspberry stitcher. She has a, a floss tube video. Oh, she's really a nice gal. Um, she always tries to be kind and she has different t-shirts she wears that say be kind. Her cards, of course, say be kind. And they have um, kind of a Audubon design of raspberries. So I love that one. That's neat. That's really neat. Okay. And this one, what is this one? Oh, this one, this one came, oops, Daisy. This one came from Ramona. She stitched this, uh, sampler in memory of, or for her father and her father's family. They're from New York. So she personalized it with all sorts of, uh, things about her father and her father's family. And that's, it really look, it looks like a brick house with all kinds of different things. There's a cow and a hand and sunflowers and it's, it's really nice. Okay. And this one, oh yeah, this one, this one came from Cindy. You see her on Instagram, Cindy stitches and all those strawberries that she's made and stitched. And so it's really neat. So I've been sending out some of mine. You all have seen them. Miss Maisie, <laughs> that's her nose. And um, one of the things I wanted to, and if if you want um, some cards, just drop me a note and I'll, I'll uh, drop them in the mail to you. Um, your note has to have your address so I can send it to you. Anyway. Um, okay. So when you order these while you're doing it and you like the car or you like the picture, order some cards while you're at it. Order cards. You can get some all these different places uh, will print cards, give you the envelopes. And then all of a sudden you have note cards to send thank you notes or whatever you're going to use, which is, you know, yours will be beautiful. Yours will be gorgeous strawberries or a sampler or raspberries or dogwood. Yours are going to be gorgeous. Mine are supposed to be funny. <laughs> so anyway, it's just an idea. Just uh, have some printed. And then all of a sudden you have some uh, really beautiful note cards that uh, are more personalized to you. So anyway, it's a great idea. Kind of fun. Kind of fun. Um, hey, I have uh, some floss tube makers that I wanted to talk about. 
Barbara was one of them, the raspberry stitcher. And she has some really sweet pieces. She has a really neat uh, floss tube video, which she did like a parade of all these floss drops. It's amazing how many she has. So anyway, pour a cup of coffee, go, go give her a shout out. Say hi to her. She has a lovely smile and spirit and you'll enjoy your time with her. Okay. And then Catherine, she's, uh, she's been making videos for a while. I think she's got 11. Yeah. 11. Um, she is stitching in costume and, oh, she's got some beautiful pieces, hands across the sea. She sews costumes. She shows pictures. She's got a beautiful smile. So creative. It, you kind of leave and you, oh, it's just like you want to do, make something and do things and you're really, really beautiful, kind spirit, really pretty smile. You can see the smile in her eyes. It's really good. So go tell Catherine hi. Okay. And then one other one, her name is Rachel and she's done two, two floss tubes, I think, uh, two floss tube videos. Uh, her, her, um, webs or floss tube, uh, handle is needle and flax. And she's got Cup three teenagers. She's got gorgeous hair. Ooh, her hair, the color is gorgeous. And um, I think she lives in a farmhouse and she dyes linen. And I did order a piece, but I said, please don't hurry. I have plenty to work. I have a whole room of things to work on. You don't need to hurry the order. But when I get it, I promise I'll share it with you and let you know. Um, but anyway, I, I think she's got a delightful sense of humor. It kind of slips through the computer monitor when you're, when you're watching her. So you'll be smiling. Um, she, she's really a lovely addition to this community. She's um, got a great spirit and a smile and you find yourself you kind of put your stitching down and you grab your coffee and you kind of hold it and watch and uh, enjoy your coffee and relax while you're listening to her. So if you get a chance, uh, go over and uh, say hi to Rachel. And um, oh, and she has a website, which is the same name, Needle and Flax. So you can see some of her uh, fabrics that she is selling. And I think she sells, will sell some online to some online shops or in, oh, I, I don't know. I think McKenna uh, stitching in sequins. She sells it. I don't know the other stores. And okay, just, just go there. They'll give you all the information. So, okay. So let's see, how about some works in progress? Okay. We'll do that. That'll be, that'll be good. Okay. This one is Liberty, a plant of rapid growth. And it is by Heartstring Samplery, Beth Twist. I'm closing in on a finish. I try to have a uh, thread my needle with um, some of this the floss for these light colored flowers. So before I get get going, you know, for a couple hours, I try to put in a length of that cream colored thread. So anyway, I'm doing pretty good. I'm just got a few more things over here. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice one. Look at that house. That, I've never stitched a big white house, and it turned out so nice with the the clapboard. It looks like clapboard house. It's kind of neat. So. Anyway, I needed something patriotic and uh, this fit the bill. And I think it was one of the new ones that she uh, released this year. So anyway, we all love Beth Twist. She's got beautiful, beautiful stuff. So um, this is 32 count that I'm working on. Hmm. I didn't bring the little thing to tell you what it was, but I think it's what it's called for. But I'm not sure about that. But I, I promise I'll let you know if if you ask me in the comment section. I will let you know. Okay. Now this one, this was the one that everybody was surprised. I'd never stitched a Halloween piece before. This is called, um, hold on. It is, um, Lady Halloween by Jardin Privé, private garden. Okay. And it was my first time stitching a Halloween piece. And so I did pretty good. It's just, it's got three colors, black, gray, and then a dark charcoal. I'm, I'm kind of starting on her hair. I'm loving her hair. <laughs> Can you tell that's why I was drawn to this? Um, and this is my first time doing a, oh, I love this fabric. This It's not showing up that great. Let's see. Can you get it farther away? No. Closer up? No. It's called gingerbread. And I just, ooh, I love that rusty color. It's so beautiful. So this is my first time thinking. I went and got a few more of the threads and popped them in there 
and I think I'm going to fold it up and put it away for a couple months. I don't normally do that with my patterns, but I'm not really in the mood to stitch Halloween, but I'd never, I'd never done a Halloween piece before. So I didn't know, you know, how long I would be stitching. So anyway, it's just turning out really cute. It's uh, lots of little motifs. You feel kind of fancy when you finish one, like, oh, I finished the whole cat. Oh, I finished a mouse. Oh, I finished a frog. <laughs> Makes me giggle. So anyway, yeah, I got a couple extra of the threads just in case um, I want to pick it up. I would have all the extras there. And um, I love the fabric. The fabric is beautiful. And I would like to have this finished uh, for next year, autumn. Halloween time and so that I can display it. So um, I, maybe after the first of the year, I'll pick it back up, uh, you know, here and there and uh, put some stitches in. So anyway, beautiful piece, super fun, a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. So I, I really like it. It's kind of a happy piece. It's kind of fun. Okay. So the next one that I'm working on, my work in progress, let's see. It is called Christmas. Oops. I just took those things off. It's called Christmas Rose and it is by Blackbird Designs and it is number four in their Christmas sampler series. And I think I did one of them last year. Um, I think I need to look it up to, so I can see the other two to see if I want to do those. Uh, okay. So Christmas Rose, Blackbird Design. I love it. However, I had a piece of fabric that I just adored. I, uh, one of you gave this to me. We traded. I had some 40 count and you had this um, tumbleweed 32 count. So it's a really warm olive green. It's just so nice. And so I started stitching. So my this piece shows a lighter background and I'm choosing um, a darker a darker green background. But once you, once you're right up close to it, um, you, you know, you can see the colors and it's kind of a fun, you know, you can see the snowflakes on it a little bit better and it's not that big. So I, I have the alphabet up top and Merry Christmas down below and a few more things. And, you know, I think I'm pretty sure I'll have it done by this Christmas. And so hopefully I can get it framed. So anyway, this one's turning out really nice. I've had to change a couple of the colors to kind of make it show up on the green. And I think this is that old weeks. So it's super stiff. So, but the color, the color outshadows the outshines the, the kind of stiffness of the, of the uh, green, or, I mean, of the weeks fabric. So anyway, Oh, I have one more um thing to give away. Let's this to share. I've already finished it. So let's share Merrily, Merrily, We Welcome Spring by Blackbird Designs. Uh, let's use the word use the word spring in your comment. You can use all the words together if you want in a sentence. That'd be fun. <laughs> okay, so we have the Prairie Schooler. That is, uh, you use the word Santa. Merrily, Merrily, We Welcome Spring. Let's see. what What is wrong with the lighting? I'm usually a little better, aren't I? I don't know. There you go. I finished that one. It's hanging. I didn't bring it in here today, but let's use the word spring if you want this pattern. And then this one is the Scarlet House Little Deed Sampler and use the word kindness. So that'll be, that'll be a good thing. That'll be a good thing. I'll, I'll send, share three of the patterns and of course I'll put in some floss drops and some goodies or this or that. And, um, since I'm already going to mail something, I'll, put some more stuff in the envelope. So anyway, kind of a fun way to celebrate three years. Thank you so much for um, following along for three years. When I first started, I really was really kind of hoping that I'd have 12 people because I thought, Ooh, I could do 12 Valentines. I could make them and they would be really fun to make. And I could make one for each person. And <laughs> I don't really know if I want to make 3,200 Valentines. I think I'd be making Valentine's all the time and I actually wouldn't be stitching or, or quilting. Or... <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> so, um, anyway, yeah, I way more people than I ever dreamed ever in a million years dreamed. Uh, what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my washer and dryer. I am so grateful. It is so muddy where I live. 
all the rivers around me are flooding. I live in the Pacific Northwest. So, and the river in our town is really, really high. So um, yeah, there's lots of flooding. Lots of people are being evacuated. So we're really lucky. Uh, and our backyard is kind of angled down and it is just saturated with water. I'm so grateful that Mr. Wright moved the chicken coop um, two years ago. And so their run is really wet and muddy, but where they sleep and lay eggs and visit and talk and whatever, that's all dry. So everything's fine there. But um, yeah, the backyard is just so muddy. So when the white dog comes in, she gets wiped, her paws gets wiped off or getting wiped off before she walks on the cream colored carpet, before she jumps up on the cream colored sofas. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I was going to have this dog that was going to be neat and tidy and clean and it was going to be summer and there'd never be any mud. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. I love my immersion blender. I'm so grateful for my immersion blender. You can just, on a Friday afternoon, you can throw in all kinds of vegetables that you have left over in your refrigerator and add some fabulous stock or broth that you've made or bought. There's no shame in the game. Buy it. And I just put it all together, cook it for a while. I use that immersion blender and you've got this beautiful, creamy, dreamy soup that you can go along with some homemade bread or something. Because we've got some rainy, cold, chilly days. It's, it's the perfect time for some soup. So anyway, I am grateful for my stitching light because the days are getting, um, you know, a little darker and I don't know how that works. It used to be that it would be dark about nine o'clock and then we, we changed time zone or change the time, um, daylight saving time. And all of a sudden it's dark at five o'clock. So I'm really grateful for my stitching light. It's, it helps me, uh, extend my stitching time a little bit. So anyway, okay. These smell, you know what I'm going to do when I get up. Oh, I have a cup of coffee over there cause I can't really have it by all my stuff, but a cup of coffee and one of these fabulous, they smell so good. It's such a great way to celebrate. We're celebrating three years. So come on over, have a, have an apple turnover. You're more than welcome. So anyway, well, that's all I have for today. I'm, I kind of, I never really planned to do this. Oh, I have one book. Wait, I have one book. Look at this. Okay. It's, it's a really good book. If you want to, if you need a gift idea for a girlfriend, it's called Beholding and Becoming the Art of Everyday Worship. Ruth Chow Simmons. And then also, not just her writing, but look at her. Look at this beautiful watercolors she puts in here. I'm, she's excellent. Ah, her words are just oh, honey to your soul. But then look at her. Her watercolors are gorgeous. It's a really beautiful book. Hardback. It's it's really lovely done. So if you need a, a Christmas present for a girlfriend or a sister, sister-in-law, oh, this is a really good one. Beholding and Becoming. I'll, I'll link it below. So, you know, if you need a Christmas gift, there you go. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> you know, if you were sitting here with coffee and a, a turnover, I could talk your ear off for another hour or something. So <laughs> anyway, all right, here's to three more years of happiness and sharing and inspiring and all your fabulous comments. And I am so grateful that uh, you've kind of come to share with me, hang out with me. The whole point of me uh, starting these videos was to make a few new friends and meet some people that wanted to listen to me talk about stitching or quilting or whatever hobby I was working on. So I kind of surpassed my 12. My goal, my goal was 12 people. So thank you, you 12 people that signed up. I appreciate you, but I also appreciate everyone else. So uh, I am very grateful that uh, we're in this stitching community together. It's it's a really lovely community. Um, really kind comments and lifting each other up. We need prayers for Donna Ray, uh, Flannel Jammy Farm. She moved. So she's in the middle of unpacking boxes. Uh, we need a little bit of good prayers and good wishes, good karma for our friend Kathleen. Kathleen's trodden trail. She's feeling a bit under the weather. So give her some love. Um, Ooh, my friend Barbara, she's celebrating her little granddaughter. Got a clean bill of health. So mwah, kisses and hugs to Poppy. <laughs> I love her name. She's so cute too. So uh, anyway, happy Thanksgiving to all of you who celebrate. And oh, if you want, you can come over for this 
fabulous, fabulous mushroom roast that I'm making. Um, usually I do a, a mushroom Wellington, but this year I'm going to do a, a mushroom roast. So it'll be delicious. It'll be fabulous. And, you know, all the extra onions and my, uh, mashed potatoes and all the goodness. So, you know, how we celebrate. <laughs> anyway. Thanks a lot for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to, if you if you want any of those uh, three patterns that I'm going to share, you know, leave a little comment, and uh, I promise I will definitely uh, use that generator to come up with a name, come up with a winner, and mail that out to you. So, happy Thanksgiving, and thanks for stopping by. We'll chat soon. Bye bye. <laughs>